Hey, so my name is William McKay. Today's video is called, What Does the Bible Say About Antimatter? Well, I guess we can talk about this too. But, you know, please, why I'm talking about this, because these stupid atheists like to talk about this. Now, I know the Bible does not uh, say anything about antimatter, but, you know, it doesn't mean we can still talk about it, I guess. You know, but, is I that matter something that's real? Well, yes, because people have been creating it, people have been studying it on CERN and stuff. On certain and in, in some in somewhere called CERN, but you know that something is. Uh, isn't good at all. And yeah, and I guess antimatter is something missing for the Big Bang Theory. But this, this is, but now, this is the reason why the Big Bang Theory is false. But these stupid atheists, they don't, they don't want to do that, so they want to just make up stuff. Well, I'll show you. So here's, an, here's a picture of a of a matter and an antimatter next to it. It's a matter versus antimatter, you know. What you can see is that um, an antimatter proton is called an ant. It's called. So you can see. So here's the antiproton, and then um, and then uh, antimatter neutron will be called antineutron. Now. An anti electron is called a positron, and it's because it's positive. So here's, here's hydrogen and anti hydrogen. So, here, if the electron's going this way, I think the positron's going this way. The other way around. Here's a here's another picture. So you can see the proton is positive. An electron. And here is an antiproton and a positron. And here is a lithium and there's an anti lithium. Atoms of matter and antimatter have the same mass. Opposite electrical charge and different quantum numbers. There's another picture of it. You can see with many, you need quarks. With proton, you need two up quarks and a down quark. And neutron, you need two. Down quarks and up quark. They get a luck when you need leptons. But what about the antimatter? Well, this it says any matter. Okay, any matter, but it, it's antimatter though. You need um. You need anti quarks. You need anti proton. You need two anti up quarks and anti down quark. You get anti neutron. You need you need two anti down quarks and anti up quark. 
And then for a positron, you need three anti-leptons. Here's an energy, see? Matter and antimatter. Okay, so you can see is that, um, what about antimatter electricity? So if that, so if antimatter goes from positive, it goes, so if electricity goes from negative to positive, I guess, I guess positron, I guess you can call that positricity, I guess, but, um, I guess antimatter electricity, which is so called, in this case, you can call it positricity, it will probably will go from, positive and negative. Yeah, quark and anti-quark annihilate each other, as you can see right here. And products from matter and, 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 and matter collisions. You also got this too. A universe there's an anti-universe, a universe made out of anti-matter. The problem is, is that um, these stupid atheists, they believe an anti-matter universe will have a time reversal, meaning that a, a universe uh, where time goes backwards. Wait a minute. So, what does that mean? So, if our times go backwards, this means our universe is, ex is expanding and their universe is shrinking. And I guess, according to them, we have a big bang. And according to them also, I guess an anti-universe is having a big crunch. Instead of a big bang. According to these stupid atheists. And I guess and I guess they also want to believe that Yeah. Here's a picture of what it here's a picture of an Earth and end time Earth. But you know, everything is going back. So it's a universe where everything goes backwards. An entire Earth. Yeah, I don't even understand this. And then, um, here's a human, and here's an anti human. But I want to show you something here. You think an anti-matter, so you think, so if time goes backwards, an anti-matter universe, an anti-universe? Does anti-matter universe also get younger? Because, you know, reverse aging is something that's impossible. Or is it? I don't know. Because, you know, I heard about it because you guys Benjamin Syndrome. The problem is it's that um, we're first aging. Is someone is starting out as an old man. You know, now, I know he might look like a baby. He's an old man, and he and he'll grow into an old man.
but you will keep young and everything. You'll get younger and younger and younger until you become a teenager and then a kid and then to a baby. The way you will die by reverse aging is by um, is by shrinking until in, in, until you dis until you, until you until you disappearance like you're gone. That's oh yeah, so that's how reverse aging um works, and I guess on a Hollywood experience. But um, I'm not sure how to, I'm not sure how it works on an anti matter, and you know, in an anti human experience. So. And there's another thing about anti matter is. A parallel universe for antimatter. So you see, I'll tell the difference between an evil parallel, an evil parallel universe you and, and the real you. Well, this is something I do with Shattered Glass. You know what Shattered Glass is all about and Decepticons and you know and GI Joe and Cobra and Power Rangers and their monsters. Well, if that's reversed. The Decepticons would be on the good side and the Elbows we would have been on the bad side. So, I don't know, but, well, so what is an evil parallel universe, you, um, versus the real you, um, and I guess it's something, I guess it's another thing I something you would do with antimatter, and I don't know very much about that, at all, um, No, this people could be for murder and bust they didn't target duck hunt and then second lunch eats all weapons had all alien wrenches but they bad all exams bad exams so you can see is that that's the difference between um an evil parallels for you you and really you well the difference between this is that the evil parallels universe you is the opposite of the real you um this is a, i guess this is something else that have to do with antimatter but the problem is that um, this is not real and i'll get to that in a minute so um the problem is that um The problem is, is that if there's an antimatter universe with antimatter Earth, I don't think there would be such a thing, and God would be lying about about about, about something like this because, and then the Bible would be in because the God and the and the God would be lying about this because the Bible says something different than this.
Let me look it up. Okay, let's just start the three for twenty. This is right here, and Adam called his wife called his wife's name Eve because she is the mother of all living. Right? So what so what makes Adam? Well, he it makes Adam the father of all living. You know? But the problem is, is that, um, so the answer is, is this, um, so what's got a line when you say this, you know, okay, so it says, so yes, because the Bible says that Eve is the mother of all living, when you examine the father of all living. You see, Adam and Eve are the parents of the living, of all living. And this is what the Bible teaches. And you know, God will be lying if there is, if there is, if there is, um, anti if there is anti-human, if there is anti-humans, on the entire Earth and the entire universe, and get and plus God made time going forwards, not backwards. You know, so we don't have it. So there's no way God will make another entire universe where time goes backwards. I'm looking for the word that says
Yeah, okay. Hmm. So here it is. So bronchial inflammation and the antimatter. So you can see is that antimatter is another thing that's missing with the big pain theory, you know. And I want to talk about this, you know. So you see, article highlights. Antimatter sounds like science fiction, but it's real. Protons and neutrons are in particles known as an, uh, baryons. An antibaryon is an antibaryon. Is baryon. If the Big Bang were true, there should be an equal amount of boron and antiborons, but the universe has way more matter than antimatter. Boron conservation doesn't fit the Big Bang model. And here it is. What's on antimatter? Well, antimatter is like regular matter, but the opposite. The antimatter particle has the same mass. And particles, remember, the opposite Lego charge and boron number is destroyed the matter of the interact. While the second is designed to be living uh, alongside the following Big Bang, it reminds the universe today we don't know exactly why, but they, they, they should just know the universe should stay far, far away from it. So let's go read this part, okay? So, boron combination is an antimatter mystery. Everything is made out of matter. So why is anything why is why and why is this? Well And if you're looking for an anti Earth, this right here. I know, I live in the United States of America. What an anti-matter U.S. will look like. You know, I live in the U.S. Uh. What an anti-matter United States will look like. You know, I guess I just don't. I guess we'll look different down now. Okay, I guess I have to talk about another country, right? Well, I'll talk about what it is, and that's probably worse than mine. What about, well, what, in, what will an antimatter uh, China will look like? Yeah, I guess you can, I don't, I don't, I guess they don't know either. But right now, Right now, China is, is is ruled by an evil dictatorship. And, you know, and I pray for that to be destroyed. You know, but I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon anyway. Because I don't know the future. <laughs> I don't know the future at all anyway. Okay. Wow. 
Well, I don't know yet. I guess... I don't know, but I guess he's stupid atheists. That's one dude is just keep lying. You know, like Satan, you know. But here it is. We're all in contemplation with anti matter history. So it is so why is everything made of matter? Well, everything is made out of matter. Well, matter is made of atoms and atoms are made of smaller particles. Protons are one of the platonic particles. And the most common proton is the neutrons. They're born because they make up the most of the mass of the observable universe. Baron conservation. The combination of burons means the total number of burons any. And any given nuclear reaction remains the same. In other words, the initial number of bronze in the fall reaction equals the number of bronze remaining afterward, and concerning the decay of a free neutron. The neutron, when the bar number of one decays into a proton, the row number of one plus an electron. Bar number of zero, an electron, anti neutrino, and with a bar number of zero. Thus, the bar number is conserved, and now conserve the precise decay of a proton. Now, a proton at number of one decays, in, de decays into a positron, E plus, and the bar number, and the bar number is zero. A neutral position of a bar number zero, this decay is predicted by the popular of psychic models. It never has been observed in nature because it violates wrong conservation. I mean, yeah, one does not equal zero. One doesn't equal zero. The the current lower. Photon's life is 1.6 times 10 to the 34 power years, and which is 24 orders of magnitude greater than the secular age of the universe. In the secular age universe, and so the total number of boroughs the universe is constant according to both these observations by the of the secular hypothesis and the contrary. The anti-mirror mystery. Why does one conversation to do, to do such a promise in, in secular science? Because it does not support precision of the Big Bang model. Most Big Bang hypotheses claim the universe began in some type of quantum creation by experiment with a small, uh, pure energy, potentially consistent with extremely high energy and electromagnetic waves. These waves are then produced with equal amounts of parons and anti parons through an initial process called per deduction. This process is, full, is fully reversible since the broad number of both sides of the reaction is zero. When the proton Anti-proton coming into contact, it will annihilate it into two high-energy photons. This means that two things will have happened in the observable universe, and they, they exist according to secular science. But either matter and antimatter somehow congregate in different areas of the universe. There is an energy in the interaction matter and the antimatter that leaves a small original amount. A matter and but there's no antimatter um, after the annihilation process. When an, when matter and antimatter annihilate, the characteristic back to back energy gamma rays are produced. These rays have not been observed in any significant amount of galaxies, supercluster, and cracking with no matter in space. So while antimatter may be produced in very small amounts by certain extreme phenomena in the universe. There is no super evidence of this large grouping of antimatter. The date no exponential evidence, evidence exists in annihilation reactions produce a surplus of matter along with the gamma radiation. 
The universe didn't explode into existence, but it was instead designed by a creator to be inhabited. So, where's the anthem for the Big Bang Hypothesis? But the must exist the universe. Maybe the universe didn't explode into existence. It was instead a sign by a creator to be inhabited. And, uh, and it was the few first chapters that Genesis indicate. And the problem is that, um, so I forgot to tell you, if Eva's mother are living, father's all living, I guess I forgot to tell you something else. Right? Yeah. And here's what the Bible says about lying. About the... All right, let's go search um, the words cannot lie. Okay, so this is in Titus. Titus. This is right here. And I hope the eternal life which God that cannot lie promised before the world begins. So right here in the book of Titus, it says that God cannot lie. And the Bible says, even the mother of all living. Here, it says in Titus 1, verse 2. Here, and hope eternal life which God cannot lie, promise before the world began. It says it right here. So God can't, so, so, but God can't lie. He's telling the truth that God, um, made, made everything, you know. But yeah, he's telling the truth that, that Adam and Eve were the parents of all living.
And here's why. And I want to use it, okay? And here's what the Bible says so. It's because God wrote it, okay? Not because it says so, but it's because God, it's because God wrote it, okay? I don't believe in circular reasoning because I'm against circular reasoning. I'm just going to try to tell you is that God wrote it, okay? That's why it says so, because, because God wrote it. And God used different people to write the Bible. Yeah, that's cool. That's 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 learn more about what antimatter is, okay? And why God does not need antimatter. So the big brain scientist, the universe shouldn't exist. Isn't the asymmetry of anti antimatter versus slash antimatter problem? Most most objective the big bang model has got a little worse. And the asymmetry problem involves the fact that there's a very little matter, antimatter in the universe. Antimatter is just like no matter. Except it's the sum would produce the opposite that of normal matter. For instance, the antimatter equivalent to an electron is called a positron. The positron has the same mass of an electron, but with a positive charge rather than negative. Likewise, an antimatter counterpart to a proton is an antiproton. It has the same mass of a, of a proton, but with a negative charge. In our universe shouldn't exist if the Big Bang were true. Photons and bundles of electromagnetic energy. Collisions between high energy photons can result in a pair of antimatter force slash antimatter particles. No, this is a not I know that this is not a creation of uh, nothing, but rather a conversion of a pre-existing energy into matter. These collisions produce precisely equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Why is this antimatter issue a big problem for the Big Bang. Shortly after the, after the supposed Big Bang, the universe would have been filled with extremely energetic photons, and glitches between these photons would have resulted in, in, a, in the production of particles, and particles which would eventually become stars and galaxies and people. So far, so good. But because these collisions are always produced matter and antimatter, precisely equal, Amounts the universe should if the big if the big model were correct have exactly equal amounts of matter and antimatter and yet there is very little antimatter in the universe and this has been no problem for many years. Yeah, matter and antimatter particles annihilate one another whenever when they come into contact. Actually, it's even worse because in that because. Matter and antimatter particles annihilate one another and never come into contact. So in this big bang scenario, particles and antiparticles um, would come into existence when they annihilate one another in equal measure. And that means no particles will remain to eventually become people and stars and galaxies. And this means that even the supposed Big Bang could somehow create a universe that would, the universe, that universe would forever remain a devoid of matter, unlike the actual universe that we live. The Big Bang scientists have long claimed that some unknown physics somehow allowed a slightly greater amount of particle matter, a normal matter, to be produced, and in this leftover normal matter, and eventually become a material stuff in the universe. But this, but because this claim is not based on any theoretical science, it never has been anything more than, more than pure speculation. The Big Bang scientists have been hoping to find some, some physics loophole, some tiny difference between matter and antimatter, and that will allow more matter and antimatter to be produced shortly after the Big Bang. But so far, they have been on. They have been unsuccess unsuccessful. The results of the latest experiment show the property of an antiproton called its magnetic moment. And it's identical magnitude to a magnetic moment. And this, and this proton counterpart you know, within possession and just a couple of parts of per billion. 
and this and this result eliminates one possible loophole that the Big Bang cosmologists were hoping to exploit and in and in have to solve the long-standing problem in their model. This result is only bizarre for someone who has uh, who are committed to the Big Bang model. A news report the result of the expert bazaar is something the matter of the rich Big Bang being often changed to the coverage of science reporting. Well, this result isn't bizarre at all. It is simply a, a combination of earlier, so that's precise. Measurements of antiprotons meaning moment, unlike the Big Bang speculation, these measurements, which are testable and these and your people and, and, and who are real science. This is only a bizarre result who has a prior commitment with the Big Bang model. This is not the first time Big Bang thinking has led to a conclusion that the universe shouldn't exist. You do have you you have to give the Big Bang scientists credit for their tendency. They don't allow anything to shake their commitment and to their Big Bang story, even the collision in the universe shouldn't even if the shouldn't exist if the Big Bang were true. The Big Bang is always has been unsupported speculation. It's easy to see why secularists Despite their the existence part of their creator, were claimed as such fantastic nation. Why do so many Christians to claim to claim that God used the Big Bang to create the universe, especially when they especially keep in consideration to contradicts the Genesis creation account in so many ways? The Big Bang is and always has been unsupported speculation, and it's coming more and more obvious as time goes by. And here's another question. You know, and this is what a lot of false Christians are believing. Well, did God use the Big Bang? Well, my answer is no, okay? No, God did not use the Big Bang. But I'm going to read to you why do, why do people believe in that anyway? Why do... False Christians believe in this anyway. But many Christians accept the Big Bang story as though science proved it years ago. According to the story, our universe began, and with all of its energy and matter, did seem packed into a tiny space. Nobody quite knows why, but when they exploded somehow, particles changed direction and self organized into planets, pulsars, and people. The chief effects demote the Big Bang from science. To a fairy tale. First, Saul said to refuse Big Bang models. That's why the balls keep changing, why hundreds of secular physics um, sign a public cosmology statement explaining that they rejected because they used it used too many fudge factors to work around its many problems. For example, in order to begin to conform to the laws of physics, we have generated equal amounts of matter and antimatter, but the antimatter is most all missing from the invisible universe. <laughs> the incredible sameness, one forward slash to one hundred thousand, one divided by one hundred thousand, and then the very temperature of the space of the. Of, um, Balance. The Big Pain. Um, some regions of the universe were supposed to be much hotter than others. The hot spots were emit light that carries out the heat to the cold spots. And how long would it take to the hot spots and cold spots to reach the same for temperature we see today? Far too long for the Big Bang. And, uh, and the hot and cold spots lie on the opposite sides. The visible uh, are the are a bit too far apart to reach. And the author of sadness even after 13.8 billion years. The second key that the multi big bang calls attention for classic differences between it and what God's word describes in the beginning. The big bang begins the fiery kind of explosion of space. Time, energy, and matter, and it came and nobody knows where. 
The Bible begins with water and then turn an existing God coming into being. Genesis 1 verse 16 says God created the stars on day 4 of the creation week. And Psalm 10 verse 3 verse 6 and 9 says this is a miracle happening at the extent of obedience and good God command. The Big Bang story will occur over millions of years. But the Bible is beginning. Now only six days the Big Bang teaches that the sun and stars formed before Earth. Bible affirms just the just the reverse. The secular big bang cosmologists have no place for a creator. His mirror and his miracles gone. But Genesis this is a specific creation. It's a creation with miracles gone. He is Big Bang. Not only he would completely fail to say in his book, but he would actually describe the non-Big Bang sequence. God is God. The God of the Bible knows that our everlasting salvation depends purely to the understanding of the ability to understand. And he knows it's not going to any should perish, and constantly, and he will advance us. And he would energy his own. So his character, when it's final knowledge. And so, and so in the big, and so in the Bible, we'll view the Big Bang a story that never happened. New, and here's a new sky map that shows the Big Bang even more unlikely. Let's read this. Okay, a few questions more indicative of how the universe began. Although the Bible provides a written account of an event, event, some rejected try to explain the universe without either miracles or miracles or miracle maker. But the evidence is against the natural cause of cosmos, a newly revealed 3D map, and the guidance scores get more signs of its supernatural uh, source. In two parts of explanation of the origin of the universe is Big Bang, which poses that all space and time and matter once they pack into a tiny volume. See, for no reason, this is suggests that exploding, reuting ailment. All right. Okay. Ever expanding space, and eventually, silver guys of structures and and that the stars and galaxies and clusters of galaxies. But the conditions between the scenario of observations are so severe that a natural origin of the universe is, is demanding. For example, the first law of dynamics states that matter cannot be cannot, uh, cannot be created nor destroyed. Being in Okay. the law by positioning the Experience. I don't think you can be created with a straight away. You're resisting the intense matter of the no prior material. The Big Bang also found it's like a law of thermodynamics, where the state of ordinance always lost the energy converted to other forms. But by state creation, ordinance to form stars and galaxies and galactic clusters, all in insimitic cause. The closer telescopes and zoom the stars is more obvious than it's doing on the steps of the Big Bang ideas. About 20 years ago, the results from the redistribution maps and sections of the size shown over seen mega structures and the start contact of, ran of random as it starts the Big Bang by producing galaxies and instead rooting in star clusters and, 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 and super clusters. Okay. Clusters and superstructures.
Okay, and eclectic clusters is a flavor of the new map, but a verbal reminder of the universe is not random. A new sky map done by a two mass relationship and survey are two MAS. And I have a submitted in the Greek center as a physics. Okay, okay, I'll get this. this. Okay, the astronomers were able to map. Here we have three studies. I got this map. So this is one here. Then create uh, circles in space. And that was the piece should not exist unless they put their own purpose. And these were like a it looks provided I'm ordered into the cosmos. That is not yet of nature, but but uh yeah, it's a new the Okay. Okay, one circle it's in this one circle here. The central universe is a curtain and three of them. God. Okay. So the tenor and it's right on the it's a tender dwelling. Okay, that's it, guys. So, um, so those things about antimatter, but um, but my answer is this: God does not need antimatter to create everything. Go, okay? God only uses normal matter to create everything. And that's my answer about this. You know, God is God is God is God's been God's been using matter, normal matter for a long time, and not and there, so there's no need of antimatter, no need for it. And you know, no need for it. But God uses just no matter to create everything, and that's it. Now, I'll try to get saved according to the Bible. The boy of evolution is a damn soul tale. They're going to go to heaven to be Paul Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is by faith of grace and grace alone. Okay, once you say by easy place of training, you can't lose it. Salvation is easy. It's really easy. It's 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 well, I can't get my new computer working yet. So I'll get up and working, but I'll try to get it working soon, okay? And you have to go rights now. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.